Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. Happy New Year to you all. Many blessings to you guys in this new year. We have protection. I'm told three, okay? Protection, the Raven, and the Grail Knight. So something's hidden here uh, that you are unaware of, okay? Divine protection and intervention. Somebody is doing something that you are completely unaware of here, and it has to do with matters of the heart. There is a special surprise in store for you this year. I do see a rebirth here. And I have to say, uh, when I was meditating on your energy as well, I did see uh, a phoenix, but it was almost as if it was embedded in someone's skin. Some of you might have a tattoo of a phoenix, uh, but also in a different color because the colors were changing. It wasn't just red and on fire. It was definitely unique and uh, in a different way, but it was definitely rising from the ashes as well. So uh, if that's of importance to you, it definitely uh, means resilience as well as a rebirth here. I feel you even though we are apart, I want you. So someone's thinking about you here. Uh, there is something going on, especially with the Raven. There's magic, synchronicities here, and protection from the universe. Something's coming that's very important and special. Okay, so the overall, we have Page of Swords. This is also about psychic uh, ability as well. Tuning in, okay, trying to find out insight. But it's also about uh, investigating here, understanding a little more clear what's going on, getting information. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this month. My goodness, this seems uh, magical here, uh, what's happening for you. And I'm so happy to see this. You guys deserve this. Uh, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Knight of Cups again. So we have the Knight of Cups twice already with the Grail Knight. Something's happening you are unaware of. And this is a true blessing here. I see some of you for four years even have been dealing with an on and off situation. Or when it comes to love and relationships, uh, you've been through everything and have waited here uh, for abundance to come. I do see that uh, there's something that someone's doing behind the scenes, okay, that really is going to bring abundance, but also a new beginning. This is a brand new cycle for you in 2024. Uh, this is really exciting for you guys. I tell with the Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, someone's been concealing their feelings here. I do see for uh, a lot of you, when it comes to work-related things or finances, uh, it's about to get a lot better. Okay, you've definitely put in the work, but you feel like at times you do so much without getting a lot in return. But that's about to change here as well with the Four of Wands. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their energy. We have Eight of Swords. Magician, Judgment. Oh my gosh, you guys just got a song message. So I heard, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, giving up, no, not yet. Even when I'm down to my last breath. Wow, so somebody is not giving up, but what's happening is they've been holding on for quite a while here. I believe... What is that? Um, I'm not giving up. I think that's like in a movie. I want to say, I think that's Andy Grammer. I'll put it in the description box down below. I will find it for you. Uh, but something's been waiting for a long time to become yours. And uh, this is where they're feeling here. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands uh, that nothing is going to stop them now. Okay, so where they're at is they're feeling everything that's kept them trapped or stuck. 
is uh, finally, they don't care what's happening. They're going to end it. They are tired of being pulled away from you. Magician judgments, they need to be strong enough, they feel, to make this decision, to choose you, to choose to want to embrace this connection or actually move away from it and walk away. So they've made a choice here. Something's been planned for quite a while. Some of the Ace of Wands four of cups yeah they feel like they've been disappointing here that they chose wrong as well uh tell me the magician we have the full car getting ready to step out of their comfort zone they need to take a risk because they haven't been able to let go of this feeling that they have for you and this connection at all even if it's been in limbo for quite a while it feels like now more than ever it's so intense and they need to uh, really reveal something but also stand firm on this decision uh so let's see what's happened in the past We have the Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So in the past, uh, they weren't revealing much to you here. Kind of keeping secrets as well as uh, trying to play their own game. Okay, so keep you stuck in the situation, but not really giving you much of anything. So humor you in a sense, because I see them one foot in, one foot out. They wanted you to long for them. They wanted to keep you uh, always desiring them in a sense. And I see that they were doing many things, okay? They had a lot of responsibilities for some of them. Others of them, they really tried to keep themselves busy or fill up their time with other things. Tell me the Ace of Swords. Empress, Hermit, Seven of Cups. But the truth was, even though they tried to convince themselves or tried to put on this facade that they didn't care or they weren't interested as you being a priority here, they see that there is this uh, unforeseen force. So what I'm picking up is they have never felt anything like this before. Almost like you guys had done something to them, okay, energetically. Uh, they felt this intense chemistry. They just wanted to always chase you, but they stopped themselves. Uh, they felt like you had this almost supernatural power that has locked their heart up uh, for good and that they didn't desire anything but wanting to be with you. But they didn't want to show you this. They definitely pushed back and they weren't willing to embrace their feelings. They wanted to hide from them and almost convince themselves that they didn't really have these intense feelings for you. So I see a mind game being played, but also a game that they played themselves with. Okay, they felt like this was the only thing that was going to work because it's not possible. They're doing something to me here. Like, this person really feels like Aquarius. You did something to them unintentionally, but that nobody can be this great. They were really taken by surprise the fact that they couldn't stop thinking about you. They were constantly longing for you. And in the Empress card, how can you be this amazing person? How can you, uh, you know do everything possible to make them feel good about themselves. So I see for some of them, they definitely tested the waters here. They tried to prove that you weren't that good. And how they would do this was uh, punishment at times, detaching, uh, wanting you to long for them, but they were playing a game to see if you would get frustrated. Would your true color show? Would you take out uh, aggression on them? There's a lot of things that they were trying to see uh, what you would do in a sense, how you would react to certain things that they were doing. And that's why I see a lot of times you couldn't really predict what they were doing from one minute to the next, or, you know, some of you, when they were going to return. We have the nine of swords, three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. They did think, is this too good to be true? Is this something that I, I truly should get involved in? Because what if it's just not what it is? If it's a facade, is this something that is just uh, drawing me in? Like, what is this person's deal? Why do they have this hold over me? And I see with the Three of Pentacles, they were not wanting to give you too much at all because they really felt like, you know, that they could get their heart broken or this would end up not being something uh, truly real. I just heard, I, I just heard a, another part of a song. I think it's the same song. I heard, uh, 
I'll hold on to you no matter what this world throws. It won't shake me loose. Yeah. The, yes. I think. Wait. Is that the same song? I think that's the same song. I think that's the same song. Wait a minute. I just realized something here. If, if this is. I just heard Eat Apart. I think that's a movie. Is this song from that movie? I think it's from that movie. And I just see here, I feel you even though we are apart. Oh my goodness. So also the Phoenix is definitely about never letting go, never giving up here. So they had, they knew they were never going to let go. They felt like you had this power over them and that this love was, you know, written in the stars. This is something truly special here. All right, so Nine of Swords. Some of the Nine of Swords. My goodness, Aquarius. Uh, this person, you may have felt like they're not interested or playing a lot of games here, but they are completely in love with you. Okay, so Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Yeah, they had a lot of things going on as well, so I don't want to deny the fact, because I keep seeing it here, especially the Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, that they had a lot of uh, responsibilities. Uh, some of them may have worked long hours, but there were a lot of things that they were keeping from you here. They weren't really telling you what was going on uh, in their life and circumstances that they were dealing with. And so they felt consumed by that and they kind of took more on even though they know they shouldn't because it would really stop them from connecting with you more or being around you more. Uh, but they felt like this love was very intense and it was scaring them. And they felt like, well, no, that's what I need to do anyway. So I guess that's what's meant to be is meant to be. I'll just be away from my Aquarius here. Uh, but I see that the Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, they had trouble letting go. They could not let go of you here. And I see how they reacted to you. Okay, when they would come back around was a lot of excuses, but uh, excuses to make you feel like you didn't have to ask them more questions. You didn't have to, uh, you know, get anything out of them because they didn't feel like they wanted to open up emotionally because of fear or other things going on in their life. And they really wanted to test the waters in this relationship or situationship. They wanted to see what this connection was all about uh, because in the beginning they didn't really believe is this going to be long term? They were a little unsure about that. So they started to really test the limits and see if uh, their feelings were going to fade. But they realized that it just, it took a hold of them. And they took more time away to uh, run away from this, this uh, feeling and connection. Stars, Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So Aquarius, you are standing in your power and something is about to blow your mind because we have finally wish fulfillment, but this new beginning is bringing about everything that you have waited for for such a long time. And what is about to be expressed and given to you is something that you only dreamed of. So if this reading is resonating with you, in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. Many blessings to you in this new year, and I'll see you next time.